Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. For today's video, I wanted to share a haul with you all. I love seeing that haul with you all. Rhyming things is my favorite pastime to do. Now, I just want to quickly preface this video by saying I was doing really well with my no buy. I'm on a no buy because I don't want to get more stuff into my collection than what I already have. So I was doing really well. I was on track, but then I felt unwell. So I was bored in my bed. One thing led to another, and this haul came about to be. So I also want to tell you guys that if you don't need anything, you don't need to buy just. because you're seeing me shopping please keep your needs and your budgets in mind before you shop anything just because you're seeing people shop online does not mean you have to as well just wanted to quickly say that also want to quickly mention that none of these are pr products these are all things that i've bought with my own money because if i were to include pr products in this one we'd both be sitting here forever and ever and ever, ever talking about things and i don't think any of us wants that so yes without any further ado if you want to know what all i shop because i think i shop from almost all e-commerce platforms we have nike we have amazon we have purple we also have sephora Aura, which is the worst shopping app ever then uh we also have some more uh, e-commerce platforms like more brand oriented e-commerce platforms but i'll talk you through everything so yeah without any further ado if you want to know my beauty haul then let's go just grab some cup of water cup of water what is even a cup of water a glass of water something else some munchies or whatever you want but let's go now that i've already talked about my feelings about the sephora app let's just get that out of the way honestly the app is so bad it's not user friendly at all i really wish the interface was a lot better than what it is right now but <sighs> let's just keep that aside so the first things i picked up from sephora are from natasha denona i got two of the mini palettes that she has one of them is a mini gold and the other is a mini star i actually have a full size gold palette but the shades looked very different in this one and that's why i was like you know what let's just get it because i love my gold palette so much so this is what the mini gold palette looks like one of the shades is a little chipped in here like the center shade it's a little chip but other than that all of these shades look so beautiful i love natasha denona's formulation especially when it comes to the shimmer shades and i did talk about it in my project pan as well whether that i want to try more shimmers from her and that's why i picked this one up and the second one that i picked up is mini star palette now honestly i haven't heard really great things about the mini star palette a lot of people do not like their mini star palette so hopefully my experience fingers crossed should not be that way because these are not the most inexpensive palettes i'll tell you how much they retail for um so these retail for 2600 rupees individually but i think i did pick them up on a 40% off um so this is what the mini star palette looks like has a couple of great shadows in there i am really looking forward to the multi chromes because natasha denona's multi chromes are just so good i love them So those are the two Natasha Denona palettes I picked up. Then I also picked up some things from One Size Beauty because I really wanted to try them out. Now I have tried them out once, but I do not have my full review for you guys. I like the uh, stuff that One Size has. I picked up all base products. The first thing I have is Turn Up the Base Versatile Foundation, like their powder foundation. Um, the packaging. beautiful look at how gorgeous this packaging is and it's so easy to open up as well even if you have fake nails this is what the powder looks like i love the coverage i did it tell you the shade i am in medium 1 the shade matched me really well so that's a great thing but yeah i like the coverage i feel like it's slightly clinging onto the dry patches uh, on my skin but other than that i've really enjoyed using it but i will use it more to let you know my complete opinions i picked up another powder this is the ultimate setting powder this is the travel size because i wanted to pick up at the travel the size just to try it out and in this one i picked up the shade translucent i love the packaging it looks really really nice and again i've tried this one really nice and blurring but i need to try it more to give you my full review i think i did not tell you the prices right so this one um retails for rupees 1800 because this is the travel size and the powder foundation is for how much are you for 3600 so almost double than the mini travel size powder that we have then i also picked up turn up the base butter silk concealer this one the coverage is beautiful and i picked up the shade medium 3 which is a golden hue like a warm tone product and this retails for rupees 2700 so none of these are like affordable affordable that way but that's not why am i keeping it back but that's not the <laughs> policy of one size anyway like they are more luxurious i believe um i love the chrome red detailing that they have going on everywhere it's a really nice detailing that they have there so that is everything that i picked up from sephora and with my order i should have ideally gotten some samples because they asked me during check out do i want like a laptop sleeve or some samples so i chose samples and i did not get any so i was a little bummed but i was still like chalo acha i don't have more stuff now 
now so i did not get my free goodies that i was supposed to get because my order was quite like it was worth quite a lot but yeah i did not get so that was everything that i got from sephora then i went on to purple because there are some brands and some ranges that are exclusive to purple and you have to pick them up from there so i picked up the whole collection box of swiss beauty craze now craze is a new range by swiss beauty more gen z more cool like house streetwear by revlon was that sort of a thing so i picked up this whole box you get a lot of products in here and this box retails for rupees 1990 rupees so you get a lot of products in here but i also picked up some products that weren't in this box so i'll actually talk you through first those things that I picked up by myself from craze only but they weren't in the box so we have their makeup fixer in here this is 50 ml and this retails for rupees 249 so it's not that expensive but you also don't get a lot of product in here I haven't tried any of these I want to do like a full face of trial with you guys let me know if you'd be interested in that but this is what the makeup fixer looks like I love the color and everything it's really cute so that's the makeup fixer and that it goes in here then I picked up one of their lip and cheek tint it's called their lip and cheek macaroon one of them was in this box I think the shade was apple pie that comes in the box but i picked up another shade this is pink jelly and individually this retails for how much do you retail for rupees 2.99 so again not that expensive let me open it up and show to you guys what it looks like i actually haven't seen these myself as well okay so this is what they look like this looks a lot like tar 28 tar, uh, if you've seen tar 28 then it's a very similar style of packaging but this is what the shade looks like fresh unused looks so beautiful right but the shade really looks nice too so this is the shade pink jelly so those were the only two things that i did pick individually by myself those two things now let's move on to what was in the box the first thing that we have in here is their primer now i don't know how much this one retails for individually um 3.99 it's written in here but again i did pick up the whole collection box so i think that's a better deal if you ask my opinion and because i did pick up three things from them the box and the two other products i did get an extra 30 percent off so that was a yay um so the primer looks something like this is this a glass jar oh it's a glass jar Wow, that looks really nice. It also has Moringa seed oil and Japonica seed oil in there. Sounds very, very fancy. I'm actually really excited to try all of these out. And they're so inexpensive as well. So, let's put this back. Then we have another shade of the Lip and Cheek Macaroon. And this is the shade Apple Pie, as I told you guys. This is in the collection. Let's see what Apple Pie looks like. Hmm, it looks very similar to pink jelly for some reason let me put them side by side actually so that we can see the mm -hmm. it just seems a little bit warmer this is pink jelly and this is apple pie they don't look that different just a shade or two darker i believe but yeah i want to see how these would look on the skin because that's what matters then i have eyeshadow and blusher that's what it says no palette no nothing and this one would individually come for rupees 349 so all of these are very very nicely priced and they look really cool as well this is what it looks like let me open it up this is in the shade because i think they do have a couple of different shades this is in the shade rose party so this is a quad right here really nice it looks really nice oh and you also have a blusher down there with a mirror oh wow that is a nice product this is going to be interesting this is going to be really interesting i think i will be doing a trial soon irrespective of what you guys comment because i don't know when this video will be going up anyway Alrighty, let's move on to the next thing which is swiss beauty craze what is this duo mascara it is a volumized and elongate lashes mascara and this one is for 349 rupees and it seems sealed and i don't think i'll be able to open it up with my nails because I have press-ons right now let me try and struggle with you guys no actually you know what I'm just going to not make you guys struggle because why should you struggle you've not put on press-ons or maybe you have but you're not trying to open it up with me right but you know what I've actually got it and I have successfully opened it so thank you for the moral support by staying back um, this is what the mascara looks like. It's a dual-ended mascara. Looks a lot like the Huda Beauty Lash Mascara, but just a green color. So they have mentioned one side is for volume and one side is for length. Interesting products. It's a triangle diamond shape situation going on. Very, very interesting. Then what do we have next? This is Swiss Beauty Eyeliner and Stamp Duo. 
so this one if i'm not wrong is supposed to be like a stamp on one side and an, and an eyeliner on the other side all of their products are supposed to be like multitasking multifunctional and all of that let me take this one out I haven't done this in a while like doing the raw unfiltered haul where i haven't prepared everything beforehand so yeah i'm struggling a bit so this is what the product looks like why do i feel like something has leaked or maybe the packaging is not fully colored let's see what do we have on this side okay so we have a stamp on this side and what do we have on this side oh it's a thick liner we have a thick liner the tip is thin the liner is thick so hopefully this works out well for me i dropped something something is gone i think that is everything no we have another thing we have swiss beauty craze what is this what are you is this tinted lip balm we have a tinted lip balm in here as well and this variant is which variant are you coral pink oh this looks so nice and this one you can get individually for 199 rupees so this is what it looks like it has this nice scallop sort of a thing on top like it's not completely flat a scallop thing and this is what the lip balm looks like it feels very jelly like like one of those ph uh, lip balms which just like changes color upon application but it looks really nice so that i think is all that i have in this box yeah i think that is all that we have in this box so i'm gonna keep that aside i also picked up some kaja beauty i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly because these days you never know how things are supposed to be pronounced but i picked up three things from them i actually picked up two but with two products there was one free like a gift free of sorts so yeah i picked that up so the first thing i picked up was their heart melter moisture melt lip gloss stick this one retails for rupees 1390 so it's not exactly a cheap product kaja is slightly on the more expensive side i wasn't actually expecting that but basically this is a heart shaped lipstick that has a really nice glossy finish i did try this out and the shade that i picked up is called crazy for you and you have to click this up so i can't actually click it up and show to you guys because it won't go back down so you'll have to see it like that should i swatch it for you guys i didn't swatch any of the craze products because you know i want to do it with you guys i don't want to feel the texture or anything right now because i want it to be organic and like you know woohoo if it blows me away or boohoo if it doesn't blow me away very organically but should we swatch should we not swatch but then i also didn't swatch, swatch. Oh, ah, i can't talk uh, i also didn't swatch my natasha denona palettes hmm interesting interesting um let me just swatch it for you guys why not so this is what the shade looks like it has a nice glossy finish to it and i love this shade it's a beautiful peachy pink shade perfect for everyday wear so i got that then i of course had to get their heart stamp blush what is this called cheeky stamp blendable blush and i got the shade bossy um again i've tried this one I felt like this sort of fades away really quickly like you have to apply a lot of it um I'll first show you what it looks like so it comes the heart stamp and then you have a cushion sponge right here so you just like push it in here you have it and then you just push it like that you have the stamp and then you blend it out so you see how light of a color that is and once you blend it out it blends out really quickly so you have to build it up a lot and if you're wearing it on top of foundation your foundation does seem to absorb a lot of that as well so yeah you need to apply a lot of this on and this one retails for 1925 so again not a cheap product at all and the thing that i got free with it were this was this beauty bento bouncy matte and shimmer eyeshadow trio this is in the shade um so all of these shades are named individually right here and there's a sticker on top of it so i can't tell you i think no it's celestial petal celestial petal if you were to get this by itself I think you'll have to pay rupees 1695 for this but I wouldn't really suggest this there are two matte shadows it looks really cute so there is one shimmery shadow a mirror and then there are two matte shadows in here and the matte shadows are a little patchy so we have a coral shade we have a wine shade and then the shimmery pink shade the shimmery pink shade is beautiful let me quickly give you guys swatches this is slightly harder pressed as well and it is not the best formulation but the shimmer honestly is gorgeous so let me swatch it right here so this is the wine shade as you can see it goes on really patchy then we have the coral shade and then we have the shimmery pink shade the shimmer is the best it's beautiful but the other two shades 
not so much okay let's move on to amazon now i only picked up three things from there the first one being this satin foam roller now i already did try it out uh, over on my instagram reels so i tried it with damp hair didn't really work for me today i've actually tried it with dry hair and a lot of moves on but i had to had to comb my hair out because the moves were so crunchy that my hair just felt stiff so i think i'll have to try it more in order to make up my opinion on it right now um it is some work because sleeping in this is not the easiest thing it does feel slightly heavy on the head and the curls for me are not lasting that well so i'll have to experiment more with the products and everything to see if i like it or not so we have that wasn't that expensive i don't remember how much i picked it up for so i will mention it somewhere on the screen but then i picked up this um birds of paradise pink color this is corolla pink uh the, i think the instagram id is birds of paradise and the brand name is just paradise basically i want to try out more colors on my hair while i still have the blonde bit on the bottom part so i am planning to go completely back to my natural hair color so i'm just cutting off whatever growth i have and just you know go back naturally to my hair color so till the time i have this i want to try a couple of colors and this is a semi permanent color it's a hot pink color let me open it up for you guys this one retails for for um i think this was around 700 rupees and they were on shark tank as well if i'm not wrong and they were like fought after like everyone wanted them on board why is this so difficult to op oh finally we have it so this is a vegan formulation and it's cruelty free as well so this is what the color looks like it looks like a very 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 bright pink color in there like a hot pink color in there now this one retails for rupees 795 you're just supposed to leave it on for about an hour or so and this is supposed to last for about 8 to 10 washes which is perfect i'm not going to be trying it out right now because i do have like a vacation coming up i'll try it after that because the vacation is a beach vacation and colors especially like reds and pinks beaches and me just don't go well together i colored my hair red before i went to maldives and by the first day like the end of the first day my hair was completely like washed out it was a weird pink so i don't want that to happen again so i'll try this out once i am back let me know if you like to see me trying it out on reels or on here wherever let me know so we have uh, that and the third and the final thing that i bought from amazon is actually i don't even know if it's going to work or not if it works then nothing like it but if it doesn't we know that amazon products are a big fraud so this is an epilator a painless hair removal exfoliation stuff this is this is called crystal hair removal remover or something of that sort basically look at this photo they have so much hair and then they don't after using this and we're just supposed to like rub this wherever you have hair and i randomly got the shade pink so you get a random color because you can't choose the color so very pink theme my hair tie was like my hair roller was pink my hair dye is pink this is pink very pink i'm wearing pink i don't know if this is going up on wednesday or not but it's very pink in here so basically you're just supposed to roll this on your arms or hair like legs wherever you have hair i don't have hair on my arms right now because i did shave quite recently so i can't you know see a different ooh i had one hair there and now it's not there i'll have to like fully fully try it and if this works i will let you guys know again i don't know how much i got this for it does not even say on the packaging so i will leave it somewhere on the screen it feels like a gimmicky product to me but let's see if it works i'll be the happiest now for absolutely no reason because i cannot explain this to you even if i tried i ended up picking all of the sunscreens up from sunscoop they have about 8 sunscreens two body sunscreens and six face sunscreens and i picked up all of them up because i wanted to try them out they have different textures different formulations and all of that so i thought you know what let's just let's just take the plunge let's try all of them out because why not so i have this mountain of sunscreens with me right here which i don't mind because you can never have enough sunscreen so let me talk you through all of them let me keep them without dropping them i have two of their body sunscreens which i very shabbily tried to open up because it was a task to do so i have their fluid body sunscreen which retails for rupees 695 and this is what it looks like now sunscoop as a brand is very 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 similar to supergoop that's what i get from them that's the vibe that i get from them um then i also have their invisible body sunscreen this is also also spf 60 and this one retails for rupees 895 again it looks 
absolutely similar to the previous one and this is a spray sunscreen this is what it comes across like i haven't tried any of these up i've just uh, you know spritzed them like once or twice here or there nothing more than that so let me talk you through the face sunscreens now i have their matte sunscreen now some of these i picked up from nika and some of them i picked up from their own website which is called innovist.com i will have links for you guys in the bottom bar so don't worry so now all of their face uh, mostly all of their face sunscreens look like this so this is the matte sunscreen and this one details rupees 645 i haven't tried them and all of the sunscreens also come with this like pamphlet of sorts but we have matte sunscreen right here then we have their mineral sunscreen and as i said all of them look the absolute same so if you have more of these like more variants of these then you'll have to read which one you're applying on your face they also have a glow sunscreen variant which i did swatch and this one has a pigment of sorts you know what let me just swatch this one for you guys because it was interesting so this is what the sunscreen looks like it does have some sort of like shimmery particles or pigments in there so that does give you a nice glow but i am yet to like fully try I had to give you my review so please don't take this as a review please take this as things i've just picked up randomly then which one do we have here we have the invisible sunscreen again i did also swatch this one this felt like a professional not a professional but those silicone primers i dropped something um so like clear silicone primer consistency let me swatch this one also for you because i did like again swatch it so you can see it feels like a primer consistency right and it like goes that way as well it is invisible so that is great because there is no fear of white cast then so which one do we have next we have their fluid sunscreen this is the face version there's a fluid sunscreen for the body and this is the face version now this is a different packaging this is like a dropper packaging so you don't have to like figure out which sunscreen you're applying and the last sunscreen i have is their mineral stick sunscreen oh did i not tell you the prices i did not right so the fluid sunscreen retails for rupees 495 invisible sunscreen no this is mineral is 745 then we have um this is their matte sunscreen 645 then we have their glow sunscreen 645 i will you know try to like um write the prices when i'm talking about them but i'm still going through them once and invisible is 675 so those were oof all of the prices i'm tired but let's go through the last sunscreen we have in here which is their mineral stick which retails for let me get this one out of the way first because then i'll forget But I can't find where the pricing of this one is. Okay, this is for seven ninety nine, and I'll have to like tear it apart. I didn't open this one up. So this is what the sunscreen looks like. It's quite tiny, tiny. No, it's quite cute. I haven't seen this yet. Oh, it has a dome shape thing going on. But yes, those were all of the sunscreens I picked up, which are honestly a lot, but still not a lot because summers are going to be long, 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 and you need a lot of sunscreen to protect yourself. And to finish this video off, I have some things that I picked up from Nika. Now these are not recent, recent, but I picked them up in February when Nika was having one of their sales, which they always have. But these were just some things I picked up and I showed on my stories as well. So I thought, you know what? Let's update you guys too. So the first thing I have is actually this set of cartridges and razor because I shave and there's something I just need to. top up the cartridges were more expensive than this combo so i thought you know what let's just get the combo because we are cost effective i like that i don't know how much this retails for because the bundle pricing is not written on the box i will have it somewhere on the screen for you guys but that's the first thing i picked up then i also picked up some olaplex after contemplating forever and ever and ever and of course as soon as i picked up the lawsuit came out a lot of people are suing olaplex plus plex for hair loss and all but i will still be trying out because i spent a lot of money on this this was i think 2400 rupees or something and thankfully they were having like a buy one get one of sorts so it wasn't that expensive but for a tiny bottle i spent about 2500 so i picked up number 3 and i got number 5 for free so I got those. This is like a hair treatment. This is more of a conditioner. So I'll be trying those out. I've not tried them out yet. Let me know if you want me to try them out on a video or something so we can do that. And the last thing I have is actually the Charlotte Tilbury Walk Off No Shame On The Go set. There are four things in here. We have a, a Walk Off No Shame lip sheet, which is a lip liner. We have Matte Revolution, which is a lipstick. We have the Legendary Lashes mascara, and we have a Walk Off No Shame eyeliner. Two of these things I would have never bought actually. Three lip liner, eyeliner. 
mind and mascara but i've never bought by myself because those are things some things that i won't be spending that much on personally lipstick i still would have because i love charlotte tilbury's formulation that is the only thing that i truly love from charlotte tilbury but i got this set it is originally for 6000 rupees i think i got it for around 4800 rupees which i thought was a nice deal because that's like 1200 rupees per product so that i haven't tried it out yet i think i'm gonna do like a whole swatch and try on on a reel or something so we have that in here but yes with that i finished this haul Whew, i'm tired i'm honestly tired but i hope you guys enjoyed this haul let me know what you are excited for me to try out because i would love to try all of these out but i will try it out in the order that you think i should try it out but that's gonna be it for this video i'll see you guys next time till then take care i love you all so much Mwah. bye mm -hmm.